All right. There's nobody here. I've had this scenario happen to me before. All I have with me is a GoPro, and every time I just bring a GoPro when I fish, weird stuff happens or I catch fish. So who knows what's gonna happen. But basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk around this pond and just try to catch a couple fish. I mean, it's it's 10.45. I have until 12.30 to fish, so hopefully something cool happens. Take off that, take off that worm. And no, I'm not gonna leave it on the ground. <laughs> there you go, I'll just, where I put my hook, there it is. Okay. Do I have the, yep, is that? That's, that's what I'll do. Oh crap, I don't have any any of my favorite trailers for a jig, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this Ah this Rage Menace and that's gonna be my trailer. Not what I wanted, but it's gonna have to work for now. I'm gonna walk to the other side, to the beach. And hopefully the jerk bait, the spinner bait, the jig or something will work because I've been trying to get, oh yeah, get untangled. Because I've been trying to get a video here for you guys and I fail miserably every time. So hopefully that'll change today. Got him. Finally. Finally got a fish, and it's a fat one on the jig. Nothing huge, but he's a fatty. I think I might have found, uh, found a little pattern with that jig. Now I'm not sure if I told you guys about the details of the tackle. It's a half ounce jig by Strike King. I'm um, using a high speed reel, 20 pound test, Sunline, super fluorocarbon, a seven foot one heavy power fast action rod, and a four inch Rage Menace, Strike King Rage Tail. I've noticed out here, it's like the fish only want a score bill crankbait, a weightless Senko, or a jig. It's like they don't want anything else. Wait, what? <laughs> I didn't even realize. Wow, I'm an idiot. Right there. Wait, two. What, did he try to swipe at it? What the? There, let's drop my rod. That was so weird. I've never had that happen with a jig. Okay, nothing big, but. He's healthy looking. Wow, just scared a chipmunk. There he is. There he is. 
he wouldn't hit it. Well, he wouldn't hit it, but he came back for it. Oh, here. Patience, 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 patience with the jig. All small fish, but hey, it's better than nothing. Patience is key. I'm not 100% sure he's the fish that hit it the first time. But if I had to guess, I would say that is the fish that hit it. God, he won't take it. He's biting at it, but he will not take that jig. Yeah, took it that time. Oh, looks like a better one. Get up here. <laughs> well, it's a toss up between, um, it's a toss up between this and the one from yesterday for the biggest one. Again, not shooting in wide angle, even though I should, because you guys asked for it. There he goes. Again, they do not, they do not want to eat. Every fish I've been catching has been, okay, pretty sure this will make sense to you. Every bass I've been catching has been tapping the bait. Sometimes they will pick it up and they will move it and swim away and whatever they're 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 not fully committing to it all right you guys i hate to end today's video like this but i gotta go <laughs> uh i gotta go home and get ready for work and just to give it a quick recap you know nothing real big but i had fun i caught some fish i didn't get skunked either days and to give you guys another update, Sunday I'm supposed to go up towards Central Michigan and do some fishing with a Michigan tournament angler for smallmouth bass. So hopefully we're gonna catch some fish, catch some big fish, have a ton of fun, and get one or possibly two videos for you guys. But anyway, enough talking, I gotta go. I'll see you guys.